What's up guys? Ruggles play here today. I'm uh I'm gonna do a video. Top five or top five of my favorite games that I played of 2016 is rolling into 2017. And I just wanted to guy I wanted to tell you guys what my favorite games of 2016 were. Oh, I didn't bring out my list. It's okay. I learned to do some cool uh, editing techniques or whatever. Uh, at least I think uh, they are cool. So these uh, five games are in no order. They, uh, I'm just, they, they are going to have an order, but it's just a kind of a random order. Sorry for the confusion, if that confuses you. Uh, first game, <coughs> I'm sorry. First game on the list is, of course, Firewatch. This game, purely... You traveled around, you looked up stuff, you did stuff, and honestly, it was a really good game for what it was. It wasn't action it wasn't, you know, uh, basically you beat it, done, over, it's all good. Um, but the story was amazing, it was gripping, it, it, it was, it, honestly, it was kind of fun just to roam around in this kind of more, kind of more more like kind of a beautiful uh, environment and stuff like that and it was kind of had this mystery to it and you had kind of solve the mystery um but uh, but um anyways that was uh one of my favorite games also i did play uncharted 4 uncharted 4 the thieves and probably uh the best game like i'd give it a game of the year if i had if, if i was allowed to um Uncharted 4, uh, also, uh, sorry, Uncharted 4 Thief's End marks the end of Drake's adventure, basically, uh, very end of it, spoiler alert, you play as his daughter for like a split second trying to find them, uh, you guys find them and everything's all happy, uh, also having, um, a new Uncharted game is kind of happening, I don't know what exactly they're gonna do with that, I know it's not gonna be a triple E. Uh, blockbuster title uh, it's just going to be a, more of a DLC DLC fashion sorry I don't know whatever um, so moving on from that we're going to go over with uh, we're going to go on with Overwatch Overwatch have no idea why Overwatch spoke to me so much but it's turned into one of my favorite games of all time uh, between the wacky characters you get to choose all the wacky characters you get to choose from the continued support on to the second year of its life um, This game is definitely awesome um, And I find myself wanting to keep up with the different characters the comic books they come out with the animated shorts and stuff like that and um, I Honestly, I've turned into a fan of overwatch uh, um, Since I've been playing it a, lo uh, a lot um, also um, one of the most confusing games, which is the one I'm about to, to talk about, um, is, uh, Rainbow Six, um, Ghost, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I hate Search and Destroy. I hate Search and Destroy mode. I hate Call of Duty when they force me to play Search and Destroy. They do Search and Destroy so well that this game had to be has to be on any list uh, if, when you're talking about 2016 games and which are worth playing which are not or what are what's the best games or anything like that this game I mean it has bugs it has glitches just every game does now they make games and then they decide to fix them after they already released them um, also the continued support onto the season, on their second year of the game is just amazing and they're you know they're fixing uh, things that needed to be fixed they're adding new uh, operators I mean they're, they're kind of on a hold right now uh, for another couple months or whenever they decide to release a new freaking operator but whatever uh, the operators they do have uh, they feel nice to play with uh, you can get used to them pretty fast uh, uh, you can master them if you ma wish um, but this game is my all-time favorite game at the moment my all-time favorite shooter. I guess uh, first-person shooter um, It's dry in the sense that uh, like we're overwatch has colorful characters uh, Their characters the only thing is you know, they're kind of bland in the whole story department They just they're there you use them to kill people with them. Yeah, so the last game 
the last one. Final Fantasy XV. We've been waiting for this for so long. I remember watching the um, the trailer for this for this freaking game, guys, and it finally finally came out last year. Um, I man, when was it? Like 2000. 10 2012 I think this trailer for this game came out and then almost six years later it they finally released it and it the the uh, the fighting the fighting uh, mechanics in the game totally awesome uh, full-heartedly my favorite feature in the game uh, the story was great it was awesome had a very sad ending I cried uh, I, I cried <laughs> Yes, correct. Uh, man, I don't, and there's just so much to do. The world's huge. They're coming out with all the, with some new episodes. Episode Gladys is already out, and episode Prom too. So now we just need one more. Is Ignis, and they're actually going to be coming out with a multiplayer after um, episode Ignis. Or I don't know how. Actually, I don't know how that works exactly. But the multiplayer should be pretty interesting. Um, so that are that's my thought my top five picks of 2016 these five games are basically a must play or a must have or a must own uh, if you guys don't know any of the titles um, if you guys didn't know any of the titles let me know down below if there's a game that uh, I should have added to this list and you're like hey you didn't add this game uh, feel free to tell me down below also, let me know uh, how my editing did, if I did all right. Uh, hopefully I did. Hopefully my voice is coming through. If you guys hear, or hear any like residual background noises, it's probably my son running around, or uh, my son is like, kind, he, like he likes to watch uh, Netflix and stuff like that, so you might hear Netflix going on in the background, and I'm sorry for that um, at the moment. Um, I don't have my office, so I have to do this kind of in my living room uh, until I can get my office up and ready. Um, kind of have to deal with it. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to actually get my office ready. Um, and plus, I have to kind of rewire all the electricity and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, um, I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Hopefully, I can do more videos like this face-to-face, -face, everything like that, all nice and cozy. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.